Hello, this is Ellen, and I still see many people that have a hard time getting started with their Cricut Explorers. I think, not so much the Explorer or the one or two, I think the biggest problem for most people is it's a lot bigger than other cutting tools that you've probably used if you've used a Sizzix or you've used a cuddle bug, or there's so many things out there nowadays. And so it is a little bigger than you're used to. That's number one. Um, number two, I think it's kind of, you have to decide where it's going to go. And if most people like me, your craft room is not a huge part of your house. Sometimes you just have a little corner. Many of us are sharing our craft rooms with our husband and our children. And so you don't have a lot of room for it, but you do want to use it. So one way you could use it is um, I purchased uh, a little bookshelf. And on that bookshelf, I'm able to put my Cricut Explorer. And I actually have covered my Silhouette Portrait. So they're both on this shelf together, so I can use them at will. I also keep uh, different supplies up top. I'm not going to show you too much of that because it's not very neat. But the bottom line is it's kind of hard to do. Then you need to get out your cutting mat. This is my recommendation. You can definitely do what you think is best. But in you, when you open the machine, you get a standard cutting mat. I recommend purchasing the uh, low-tech mat. I think it's a really good mat to start out with in the beginning. Sometimes that that standard mat is a little too sticky and things tear up and, and get caught on it. And it's kind of hard when you're getting started. So the low-tech mat to me is a good one to start with. Also, if you do only have the, the high-tech uh, mat, what you can do with that is take an old t-shirt and pat around the mat and try to decrease some of the stickiness so some of your first projects won't get too uh, stuck on. I also purchased my uh, pens and I keep them over as you can see in the pen area. I also have the other accessories like the mat scraper and the tool for weeding and I also have over there if you look carefully you can see the score blade. So having it on this bookshelf, I'm sure there's others out there you can use. When I turn it on, well, if the cat hadn't turned it off, when I turn it on, I'm able to get it to open fully, and I can use it. It's connected to my... Uh, printer, I'm sorry, to my uh, laptop here, and I can do anything. Now this is up in my bedroom. Some people, as I said, have very small areas, and this is a good area to use it in. So sometimes this is the hardest thing to do, is just to figure out where it's going to go. And once you figure that out, get it plugged in, then you can go to town. Now I have other videos on my channel that can help you really get started using this. I will put more up. If you have any questions, uh, please contact me private mail. I'm willing to work with anyone. No cost involved, but when you're getting started, you need a little help. Take care.